Hey folks, Midwest Crappie Man. Back at you today with another Mystery Tackle Box Elite Fast Box Unboxing. I know I've been gone for a while. I've been super busy. It's white tail deer season here in Illinois, so that consumes a vast amount of my time. Uh, I live in what they call the Golden Triangle. Um, Adams County, Pike County, and Brown County, the biggest deer in the world come from right here, and I'm always chasing them. And I know I've talked about it before, but I want to expand the channel to more of that. I know I've had a little bit of a hiatus. This is, this is honestly um, October's box, and I'm just putting it out here in November. That's how busy I've been. But I'm looking at new camera gear, new stuff. New. I want to, I want to expand the channel and get away from just tackle unboxings. I still do them, but I want to do more. What we're doing every day: catching crappie, killing big bucks, chasing big bucks. I mean. Um, Stuff like that. Uh, Midwest outdoorsy. Shooting guns. Buying new guns. Man, we've bought a ton of guns this year. Um, so, stuff like that. I want to expand the channel with the new content, the new camera gear, and really try to focus on it in 2021. So, I actually skipped November's box. I'm not even getting a November's box, to be completely honest with you, because I just don't have the time. So, this is October's. I have... Also, it ain't going to be in this video, but I'm going to make another video right away. Uh, Outlet Bait and Tackle sent me their new, I guess they have a Premiere box, which is like, I'm guessing, which will compare to your Elite box. It's, it's a um, higher quality, more expensive box. So uh, I will do an unboxing on that. If you want to check at the end of the video, I'll leave a link. Uh, I will do an unboxing on that too if you want to check it out. But this one will be all Mystery Tackle box. October 2020. Let's see what we got. It feels, honestly, guys, it feels good. It feels good. It feels heavy. It's no shave November. And man, we got some good bucks running around this year, too, guys. It's like we got it all terminal tackle and tons of baits. Got the dibble. We're not going to read it. Let's find the line card. Oh man, there's some good stuff in here. Yeah, where you at? Where you at? Throwback stickers. Yeah, all kinds of stuff in here. Here we go. Finally, the line card. What this is from the vault. Throwback stickers. This must have something to do with the sticker in the bottom of the box. Hey, let's just go with it now. It's a big. Yeah, they give you four. Four throwback stickers. That's cool. So you have four stickers this month. You can't beat that. All MTB, Carl's Bay type stickers. All stickers you should have got before if you get the box. All right. Ooh, Yozuri stuff. Z-Man stuff. Dobbins stuff. Guys, guys. I can't believe I let you wait. Had you wait a month to see this. I can't believe I've held on to it for a month. Oh, goodness. There is some good stuff in here. This is a really good box. No, no kidding. All right, let's just start with the Weston Hypo Twist. It's got to be this, Weston Hypo Twist. So this is uh, Weston's version of the Whopper Plopper is basically what we're going to have. And it looks like the tail's soft on it, though, and it comes with an extra because you know a big old girl this time of year feeding up for the winter is going to rip that bad boy off. Cool color. <coughs> Excuse me. Five and a half inch, one ounce. So make sure you're throwing this on a heavy action rod, guys. This thing is... This ain't your normal half ounce whopper plopper. This thing's got some muck. This thing's got some some meat to it. Look over here. Stay out of the shadow. Good color. That heavy boot tail. Looks like they just whacked off a boot tail swim bait. Screwed the screw lock in there. Weighted, but it's not, it doesn't rattle. Purples in there, reds, golds, greens. Really a pretty bait, but $17. I don't think I would buy it myself in the store. Um, whopper ploppers are bad enough, so I think, uh, honestly, I'd probably just buy a whopper plopper. But it's cool, I mean, sharp hooks. It's, well, if it's $16.99, cool though, you know. Tell me, comment down below. Is this $16.99 cool? If you're looking for a Whopper Plopper type top water, would you spend $16.99 on this over retail on a Whopper Plopper? Comment down below and tell me. 
Tell me what you think. I'm not saying it's a bad bait by any means. Don't get me wrong. Just think it's a little may maybe overpriced for what you're getting. Um, Yo Zuri, I love Yo Zuri stuff. My favorite crankbait, Yo Zuri. You can't even get them anymore. It's like a coffin bill. You know what? I got one. Right here, I need to put new hooks on. It's kind of dirty. Prism crawl, coffin bill, money bait. But anyway, Yo Zuri. We got us a little diver here. Crystal minnow, fresh water, floating. Nice little jerk bait. It's jerk bait time too. Three and a half inch, quarter ounce. Yeah, so this thing, fish the best. I'm telling you, when they're hitting stuff like this, when they're slowed down in the colder water, which honestly, I haven't even been out, guys. I've been so busy with the deer and stuff. But what is the water temperature? I mean, God, it's been, today is a record-breaking day in Illinois. Eight consecutive days in November of 70-degree weather. 70-degree weather in November. Come on. I want to go deer hunting and see my breath. I'm sure some of you guys enjoy this weather and are taking well advantage of it, but... Yozuri never disappoints. Sticky, sticky hooks I'm trying to stay away from. Good, thick bill that's not going to break. Little rattle to it. I mean, you could just, on a nice slack line, just barely get this sucker moving. Mm. Good, good bait. Eight ninety nine. Now, 9 bucks. I would pay 9 bucks for this. I would rather see it like 6 but still, I would pay 9 bucks for this. That is a cool, cool bait. Castic Super Jerky J. What the heck? Castic Super Jerky J. What could that be? Nope. Oh, soft bait in the bottom. It says Castic. Whoa. They're like a between a fluke and a swim bait. Um, swim bait kind of. They've been on the boot tail, you know. Swim bait body. And the man, these are weird. Super jerky, five and a quarter, baby bass is the style. So this is a soft jerk bait is what it is, honestly. And you get four of them, and there honestly might be some terminal tackle in here. There is multiple things, I think, of terminal tackle. Well, it's got a lot of action to it. It really feels good, too. I mean, that you might be able to tie something with that soft jerk bait, boy. Wounded fish, what have you. Trying to imitate four of them bad boys and they got some weight to them honestly so five and a quarter inch soft baits and they want 6.99 seven bucks for four of these man everything seems expensive in this one or am i just cheap maybe i'm just cheap it's probably what it is it's probably not them it's me trapper tackle standard round bend treble nice little box too so, you know, like a lot of us, a lot of us switch our treble hooks out on our baits, on our jerk baits, on our on our walking baits, on our what have you. So it's nice to have better hooks because a lot of times even some of them, the good companies that don't give you quality hooks in their cookie cutter baits that they're banging out every day. Or they don't stay sharp long. So it's nice to be able to change them up. These get some little bitty size six. And these are an odd shape. They come in a nice... They come in a nice foam, a nice foam keeper. The foam keeper is actually slit to hold them real tight. That's pretty cool. So we get nine of them. Get nine of them. It's just a crazy shape. No, something different. Whatever. Six ninety nine. So it's enough to do you know, three three hooks or. What have you? Seven bucks. Always use terminal tackle. I love seeing uh, these boxes always include a little bit of everything. So you can kind of go fishing, you know, right off the bat. Not just baits or what have you. You get not just a soft plastic. You get something to rig the soft plastic with. You know what I mean? So, Z-Man. We've got a Z-Man jig. Z-Man cross-eye. That is cool. Cross eye power finesse jig. Quarter ounce. So we're getting real light stuff. You know, it's light time of year. It's that finesse time of year there. They should be slowing down. 
getting a little lethargic like we talked about, but I don't know that that is happening on this crazy year of 2020 with this weather we're having in my part of the Midwest, of West Central Illinois. These 70 degree day after day, only 60s at night. Crazy. Little quarter ounce jig and you see the wacky eyes. That is cool. Cross eyes. <laughs> Cross eyes. Cross eyes. $4.99. $5 a little jig. Brown skirt. You trim down. I mean, brown weed guard. That's a cool jig. Cool jig. Quarter ounce. Perfect time of year to throw it. Most years, I guess. Probably still catch something like it. And five bucks, man. Carl's Amazing Baits Hoss Crawl. That's got to be these soft plastics. Yep, so Carl's Baits exclusive. It's not something you're going to go to the store and buy, but you know, I'm sure you have real clothes in your crawl box. I'm sure I do too. Uh, made in China. Uh, distributed by Catch Coach, Chicago, Illinois, Texas Crawl. Seven pack. Texas Crawl, I'm guessing, is what the color is. They're calling this color. Ooh, yeah. They got squid. <laughs> they got squid scent to them, too. Blech. Nice coffee color on the bottom with more of a green pumpkin multi flake back. I like that caramel or coffee color by that. that I like that contrast a lot, honestly. And I think that color would work really good this time of year, too. I honestly really like those crawls. Gosh dang, man. <laughs> Wipe them on my pants. Forget it. Uh, five bucks. Five bucks for seven of them. Now, I can't complain about cost <laughs> at all on those. That's, that's right in line with what I would want to pay for that. Five bucks. Absolutely. Dobbins, I love some Dobbins rods, so football extreme, what? Okay, I don't think I got the right thing, because it says Dobbins extreme football jig. Does <laughs> Dobbins football jig, bro. Okay, third from the bottom. Tell me I'm crazy. Third from the bottom. Dobbins extreme football. Football jig. And it's, it, there's nothing else Dobbins in here. So, I'm guessing I didn't get what everybody else got. Or everybody got this and um, the card's printed wrong. I'm not sure because I don't watch other people's unboxings. So, I don't want to ruin it for myself. So, and honestly, I might have one of these already. But, uh... So I'm not going to open it, I don't think, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, love, I love Dobbins rods. Almost all my rods are Dobbins rods. And since I think I have this one already, I might just keep this just to have, I guess, as a backup or whatever. So I don't think I'm going to open it. But dual blade. Got a Colorado, Colorado and a Willow blade. One gold, one silver. With uh, the skirt is uh, Sartreuse on the bottom and white with black flake on the top. Good stainless steel wire, welded eye, bait keeper, you know, it's half ounce. They call this Sartre Shag color. That is a cool bait, and I think it's cheap. They call it, well, I don't know, because it was supposed to be a football jig. The football jig was only $4.29, and $4.29, I'd pay double that for this all day. Am I wrong? I'd give $10 all day, all day for that Dobbins spinner bait. But, I'm, you know, I am biased because I love Dobbins stuff. So, I'll be honest with you, too. Cotton Cordell. He's the man with the rattle trap, son. It was rattle trap time of year. Gold. Mm, super spot. Half ounce. Money. Bait. You're catching a fish. And the nice thing about a bait like this, it, it can be a search bait. So, you can, you can fish around, especially places you're not real familiar with where the fish... Um, stage up and what have you anyway new waters and um a rattle trap is a perfect perfect search bait a lot of times in the spring fishing for bass with chrome ones i, I end up finding beds of crappie where the crappie are uh, 
schooling up together, and I'll come back the next day with crappie gear and beat up the crappie on the spots that I was bass fishing but catching crappie on the round traps. Perfect search bait. Half ounce, gold, cotton cordell. Three bucks, what? Three ninety nine list. Thing. Three ninety nine and it's gonna catch you fish. I freaking promise you. Absolutely. Eagle claw. They say six fifty for this compared to this. The last bait's six fifty. This is only four bucks. Cotton cordell is gonna take care of you, let me tell you. Eagle claw. Four pack, we got some drop shot hooks here. HP hooks, they say. What? Eagle Claw Laser Sharp L150G Shaw Grigsby HP Tournament hooks. Wow, that's a mouthful, and it's telling you all on the back to use it for tubes. But tell you what, I think I could drop shot all day with them bad boys. Forget your tube. I'm gonna put them in my drop shot box. Awesome box, guys. It's empty. It was great. MTB knocked it out of the park this month. I have nothing bad to say. You know, great box. If you guys thought so, too, go down below and smash the like button for me. If you haven't seen this video right here, click on it. It's awesome. If you've seen it, click on this video. It's awesome, too. If you haven't subscribed to me, go right here. Subscribe to the Crappie Man. Comment down below. Tell me what future content you want to see. Till next time, there was Crappie Man out.